Welcome back to Uprising. I'm Sonali Kohatkar. You can now subscribe for direct access to all our shows online at youtube.com slash uprising with Sonali. Your subscription sustains the TV production of Uprising. A Texas judge this week placed President Obama's executive action on immigration on hold so that 26 states can commence with a lawsuit. Obama's executive action announced last November could potentially provide temporary relief from deportation for as many as 5 million undocumented immigrants. The governments of Mexico, Honduras and Guatemala announced they were disappointed with the decision. A presidential spokesman in Honduras said the executive action could help to alleviate the social and economic pressures that buffet our countries. And Guatemala's government warned that the resulting confusion of Obama's announcement and the judge's temporary hold could make immigrants more vulnerable to con artists. Mexico's government also expressed disappointment this week with another piece of U.S. news, the police killing of 35-year-old Mexican national Antonio Zambrano Montes, a farm worker in Pasco, Washington. Well, I'm very pleased to welcome to, uh, in studio this uh, morning Alejandro Solalinde. He's the coordinator of the South Pacific Human Mobility Ministry of the Mexican uh, Bishopry and director of Hermanos en el Camino, a shelter that provides Central American migrants with humanitarian aid and education. He's a well-known human rights activist and Mexican Catholic priest, currently visiting the United States. Also with us in studio to interpret is Miguel Tinkar Salas. He's a professor of history and Latin American studies at Pomona College. I want to welcome both of you to Uprising. Thank you very much. Thanks so much Thank for joining you. us. Well, first, um, since this uh, ish, this week's news on immigration is so La important, um, let's start with the immigration. decision um, uh, to uh, to curb the immigration action that President Obama mentioned. How how are Central American migrants in Mexico targeted? What are some of the most serious threats to their safety, which I think our uh, American audience doesn't really know? Unfortunately, it's very difficult for them to travel through to Mexico because of organized crime, but also because of the hardening of public policy of Mexico because of Mexican migratory policy. They've had to find new routes because they can no longer get on top of the train known as the beast. They, can't, uh, they don't allow them to get on top of the train. They don't let them to pass on trucks. Tienen que buscar diferentes caminos so they have to find different routes which are more vulnerable and more dangerous in order to get to the U.S. and work. Mm 